Hello everyone, welcome. Today's webinar will be on online calculators. In this presentation, we'll be covering different websites and apps of online calculators. We will also discuss different tips and tricks of using online calculators. We will go through the introduction to online calculator, different calculator websites and apps. We will discuss online versus durational calculators, some tips and tricks, and talk a little bit about math entertainment apps. What is an online calculator? An online calculator is an electronic calculator accessed through an app, programs, or websites, each being able to solve different problems. You can use them on a regular basis to conduct all your calculations. For example, taking several measurements, calculating discounts, determining currency exchange, etc. Now, we will talk about different calculator websites. First up, we have Desmos. Desmos is an advanced online scientific calculator. It features user interface buttons for making calculations in degrees, radians, angles, pi values, percentages, and more. Desmos is available on its website and both on Apple and Android Store. To access the website, you can refer to this link. I'll be delving into more details in the live demo. Here are some of the screenshots of what it would look like on an iPad and on a computer. Next up, we have calculator.net, which is a website that hosts 200 different calculators with the sole focus of providing fast, comprehensive, and free online calculators that are convenient to use. To access the website, you can refer to this link. Now suppose you are just looking for the basics. Then Google Calculator is an excellent choice because it is easy to use. It has a simple design and can be accessed simply by typing calculator on the Google search bar. There's also a Google Chrome extension which can be used and it provides 29 different functions for basic arithmetic, algebra, trigonometry, and discrete math. It has many keyboard shortcuts. The accessibility shortcuts allow the calculator to read out the equations aloud. You can download the Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store for free using this link. We will now talk about the different calculator apps. The pre-installed Android calculator on an Android phone. The portrait view offers four basic equations like division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Whereas to do more complex functions, turn on your phone on its side, landscape view to access advanced scientific functions. Say you want to view the calculation you previously calculated. Then to see the calculation history, touch history on your phone. To close the calculation history panel, you can click on clear history. Say you have made a mistake and you want to fix it, you can easily click the delete button on your phone to fix any mistakes you have made. Also, some Android calculators have a unit converter that allows you to translate measurements such as length, mass, and temperature. Again, like I said before, to do more complex calculations, simply turn your phone from portrait to landscape view. Now let's talk about the Apple calculator on an iPhone. The pre-installed Apple calculator has a scientific calculator and you, that you are able to copy, delete, and clear numbers. To access the scientific calculator, rotate your iPhone to landscape view. With an Apple product, you can also use Siri as a calculator. Use voice commands to ask Siri to perform a calculation, and it will tell you the answer. Here's the image of what it would look like in an iPhone. Now we will talk about photo math. This is an app which many math teachers do not like. And you'll understand why in a minute here. Photo math is a mobile application 
described as a camera calculator which utilizes a phone's camera to recognize mathematical equations on paper and display the step by step solution on screen photomath is available both in apple store and in google play store to use the photomath simply scan the problem you need help with and the app will automatically show you the answer as shown in red it will also provide with detailed step by step solutions if you are unsure of the answer plus it has a graphing calculator which can become very handy if you are exploring the different graphs in math next one is calcboard 2 which is free on ios calcboard 2 is a free app for ios with a clean and a visually pleasing design it has a history tape that records all your calculations it is rated above apple's basic ios calculator in terms of functionality if you are looking for a more visually appealing online calculator then the stylish calculator is the one for you it is free on android it uses a colorful design and allows you to customize the calculator's interface with a number of themes to access all of the stylish calculator's features swipe up or down on the screen some of the features available include the history log memory keys various math functions and more we will now talk about online versus traditional calculators while some of you may think all these online calculators are difficult to use and will go with the traditional hands on calculator which is fine but let me tell you some of the benefits of online calculators and then you can think which one suits best suits your requirement online calculators are more advanced than most basic physical calculators many different websites and apps to choose from meaning more choices online calculator may have more choices to calculate depending on the equation such as taxes functions temperature conversions etc Online calculators are cheaper than physical calculators. Many are free too. Portability slash convenience on your phone or laptop. In many cases, people do not carry their traditional calculators around when they need it the most, but they have their phone or other electronic devices near them. So in that case, it is more convenient to use a phone for quick calculations. Next up we have some useful tips and tricks with using online calculators. Desmos and calculator.net have many different calculators with calculator.net having over 200 different types of calculators. Instead of clicking on the numbers on an online calculator itself, you can type the numbers directly from your keyboard, which is more faster and it is more efficient. Here are some of the shortcuts you can use for typing an equation. The slash is used to create a division equation. The dash is used to create a subtraction equation. The plus sign is used to create an addition equation and the asterisk is used to create a multiplication. The subscript symbol is used to create a power and the bracket symbol is used to create brackets in an equation. So far we have talked about different calculator websites and apps the debate between online versus traditional calculators and some useful tips and tricks so now we will talk about math entertainment apps if you are looking for some math games and you find solving puzzles and equations fun then there are many mathematical logical and reasoning games you can engage in if you like playing sudoku there is an online version of it as well You can refer to this link here. If you are into solving Rubik's cube, then there's an online version of it as well. If you like playing with numbers, then you should try 2048. It is basically a game where we need to join like numbers and get to the 2048 tile. Next up, we have Coco games. These are a list of free math games for seniors to engage in. The link to this website is below. Some of the gaming apps include 2048. Threes, Hitos, and Numtris. Two zero four eight is available both as a website and as an app on your phone. You can download it on Android and on Play Store. 
threes is a game where you need to combine the numbers in such a way that it would be possible to combine the same numbers in the future. Hitos is a game where you need to remove the negative temperatures from the playing field, adding up neighboring cells among themselves. Numtris is a symbiosis of Tetris and mathematical calculations and can be called a logic and numbers game. Now, time for a live demo. I'll briefly show Desmos and the Google Calculator in the demo, plus one of the math games called 2048 at the end. So to access Desmos, you can simply type the link of Desmos in the search bar, or you can type Desmos in Google search. So the first one which comes up is Desmos. So this is the main page of Desmos. It is most extensively used as a graphing calculator. But there are many other tools it can be used for, such as scientific calculator, four function calculator, the geometry tool, etc. For starters, we will go over the graphic, scientific, and the four function calculator. Just a side note, it is best used by students studying graphs as they can visually see the graph as is and its functionality. So first we will go over graphing calculator. To access graphing calculator, click on math tools right here. And here you can see all these different features of Desmos. The first one is graphing calculator. So this is the Desmos graphing calculator. So this is a graph where we can, you can see the graphs of the equations and this is the this is where you type the equations in. To zoom in and out of the graph, you can simply scroll in with the mouse to zoom in and scroll out with the mouse to zoom out. And if you don't use a mouse, you can simply use these features right here. Zoom in and then zoom out. So if you want to move around the graph, not just have it at a fixed position, you can always click with your mouse or your keypad and then drag the graph around. So now let's write some basic equations. So first up, we will do a linear equation, y is equal to x. So here we can see the red graph highlighted. And, and we can also see it, it indefinitely travels in both the positive and the negative directions. Now say you want to add another graph. So you can simply do that by clicking on the second section right here. And let's say we want to add a parabola. So the equation for the parabola is y is equal to x squared, x to the power of two, in other words. So to do that, there are two ways. The I'll show you the first way now. Y is equal to X. So to do the square, as we learned, to do the power of something, you press shift and the subscript symbol. So in my case, I'll press shift and the subscript symbol. And in my keyboard, the subscript symbol is above six. So I will do shift six. And I'll do square right here. And here is my parabola of y equals x squared. The second way you can do this is by using the keypad. Click on show keypad on the bottom left of your screen. And then you can type in y is equal to x and you, and then to make the square, you can click on a squared right here. And you can, you have the parabola. Say, suppose you have another bunch of graphs. So for example, I would add a bunch of them. Right, and as you can see, it looks very messy and very confusing. So if you want to just see focus on one graph, let's say the red one, then you can hide all of the others. So to do that, you, you can click on the these icons you have here. So since we, we, we want to view the red graph, we won't click on that one. So we will click on the green graph right here if we want to hide that one. 
so it goes away right here. And if you want to hide the parabola, you can click on the blue icon right here. So now you can easily focus on one graph, not having it be very confusing or very intimidating. So that's a little bit about the graphing calculator. Now we will talk about the scientific calculator. Now, when we are at the home page, right here, we go on Math Tools, and the second one down is is the scientific calculator. So here it shows you both the four basic functions as well as some of the advanced functions if you need. So say, for example, I want to do subtraction, 80 minus 52. So here, instead of clicking on these numbers, I simply just type them with my keyboard so it's more faster and more efficient. And the answer shows up on this side right here. And say if I made a mistake, instead of writing 80, I want you to do 90. So in order to do that, you can click on 80 and you can click on this red X icon right here. And it will delete the eight and you can add the nine. So here I can also fix my mistakes if I've made any. Now, if you want to do more advanced calculations, you can always go on the functions tab right here. We are on the main tab right now, but you can go on the functions tab. So here you can see all these other advanced functions like absolute value, log, square root, the trigonometry functions, etc. Now let's go back on the main page. Now say you want to do another calculation and you want to get rid of this. Then you can click on clear all and will delete all your calculations. Say I want to do division now. So for division, we use the slash key. So 45 divided by 9 is 5. So now if, say you're working at night and you don't like the computer like coming on your eyes and it's hurting your eyes. So there's a good solution to that problem. So you see that wrench key right here, wrench icon? You click on that and then you click on reverse contrast. This will enable the dark mode of the Desmos scientific calculator. As you can see, everything has turned dark and you can easily see the numbers and it's, it won't hurt your eyes as much. But if you want to go back, you can just unclick reserve contrast. Now say you want to, the functions are very unclear to see. So in order to make the font size big, you can click on the big A. And here, as you can see, all, all these numbers and functions are big enough to see with the eye. So this was about the scientific calculator. And now we will talk about the four function calculator. So you go back, you can either to access the four function calculator, you can either go back from the home page, or you can go from here itself to the math tools and you can click on four function calculator. So now if you're just looking for the basics and just want to do some quick calculations, then four function calculator is the one for you. So that was a little bit about Desmos and its different features. Now we'll talk about the Google calculator. To access the Google Calculator, you can simply type calculator on your Google search bar. So let's open a new tab and type in calculator. So here we have it. It has the four basic functions as well as some of the advanced functions. So it's two in one. So here, for example, let's say I want to do multiplication now. So for multiplication, we use the asterisk. So if we do shift key asterisk, so 12, shift eight, because that's where my asterisk is, shift eight times 45 and press enter and you can get your answer. Say you want to do another calculation so you can easily click on AC, which will clear your calculation and you can do the other one. So let's say 45, Shift eight gives you the answer of 225. Now let's say you want to view your 
calculation which you previously did then you see that clock sign right here click on that and you can view we can view the calculation history now let's say you are very lazy enough and you don't want to go in decimals and then carefully calculator and then type in the equation you can quickly do it using google so i'll show you that so let's say i want to know the graph of the linear equation so that that's y equals x and then beside it you type in graph press enter and here is a graph of y equals x as you can see lastly i wanted to talk about the 2048 game the 2048 game is a single player sliding tile puzzle video game so we'll open a new tab and type in 2048 game and then second one which shows up 2048game.com you click on that and it's a game on a 6 by 6 grid so to win you need to reach the 2048th tile on the 6 by 6 grid so when two like numbers like these two two and two collide against each other they will add and become a greater number to move the tiles you can use your arrow keys or your wasd keys on your keyboard let's start the game so here i can see these two numbers i can always move them up to merge them and they will add together so here as you can see they added to 4 and with every move i do another tile appears so for example when i moved up this two appeared so if i move to the side the four appeared and then and now i can see two like numbers so i can add them together two and two so now i can add four and four now i can add two and two together again i can four and four together and now i can add eight and eight which creates 16 and now let's add two and two together again and let's add four and four Two and two, four and four. So like this, the game moves on and on. But the game will be over when all these empty tiles will be filled with numbers, and you cannot make another move. I recommend all of you to give it a shot. Thank you for listening to this presentation today.